United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. We. <laughs> the. The. We the. We the. Say this with me. This is the day. No, no, no. We can do this a little bit louder. We got more people. Say this with me. This is the day. The Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Pastor Ken Whitten, he step on your toe a little bit, but at the end, it's just like it's love. It's love. If you if you came, if you come if you came to Ottawa for a, for a feel good sermon and a feel good message, just join another church. Go somewhere else. Don't you forget how joyful it was to watch people walk down an aisle and get saved, to watch people get baptized. Don't look at your clock and say, you know, we're getting out later because we're baptizing longer. I, don't, I, don't, I think we better go somewhere where it's real small. Some of you are praying the devil away at night and you're not giving yourself to the Lord during the day. It won't happen. Submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil. Lostness is lostness. And there are many people, and people are lost in Miami, just like they are in Mali. Let's do this together. Put your hand over your heart. Repeat after me. I, being of sound mind, do fully realize and admit that I do not now, nor have I ever, nor will I ever run planet Earth. Therefore, I hereby offer my resignation as general manager of planet Earth. Uh, you, you know how I love Jesus, and you know that I like baseball, and I try to keep it in that kind of perspective. <laughs> now, when I show it to you, you're going to go, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a radar gun, and I get to see how fast you're driving in here to church on Sunday morning. He has a goal one day for all church orchestra for the trumpets to be in the baptistry. <laughs> they keep playing like they are. That's exactly where they're going to be. Dr. Rogers went, just one of his helpers, just one of his helpers, and went on. And Rick went, Michael, come here. He said, you knew who that was, right? He goes, I thought I did. He goes, it's Dr. Rogers. Why didn't you say, hi, Dr. Rogers? Why did you call him Jesus? He said, I don't know. I guess I just got confused because every Sunday he stands here and says, come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus. He went, yeah, I can see why you got confused. But when my four were growing up, Tara was the preacher. I know that does not very theologically said, but she was the preacher. Andy led the music. Philip took the offering. Kim got saved every week. <laughs> I know it's true. He changed my life. He is the We didn't bring you here today for you to watch some dirt to be turned over. We brought you here to, for you to catch a glimpse of the beauty and the glory of God so that you could know God knows you're here. One, two, three. Yeah! All right. The ground. Isn't God good? And all the time... I'm in the middle of the sanctuary at Davis Island Community Church. Do you know when God spoke to us as a staff and as a leadership, he gave us a ministry plan for the year of 1996. Prayer will be offered today by our guest chaplain, Dr. Ken Witten, Idlewild Baptist Church, Lutz, Florida. Would you bow your heads? 
Southern Baptists have always known the tongue in your mouth and the tongue in your shoe got to go the right direction and the same direction. You got to walk your walk and talk your talk because if you don't, you'll make a titanic mistake. And I want you to give a great big, not only Tampa, but Lutz and Idlewild and Florida welcome. Would you do that to Dr. David <laughs> Jeremiah? Come here, David. God has got, given to us at this church an opportunity for this city. He has released to us an open door. Isn't it easy to take something for granted? Your kids, your family, your church, the Word of God, worship. So here's my question. Has God been knocking on the door of your heart? I don't know who this message is for, but it's worth it to me if only one person said, you know, Pastor, I haven't committed blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, but I know this, the Spirit speaking to me. The Lord Jesus Christ called me and my family to Tampa 11 years ago. We didn't come here to build a big church. God put a city on our heart. It's always been my heart to reach people for Jesus Christ. If you can't find any fault with him, you ought to follow him. I didn't say follow me. I didn't say follow this church. I said follow him. Do you know this Jesus? Do you know this Jesus? Do you know this Jesus? Do you really know him? Because when you know him, there will be a remaining and an abiding and an obedience and a love that comes with it. Stand with me, would you please? I want you to give a great Idlewild family welcome to our member, our friend, and someone that we're going to pray for even harder tonight after his testimony, Daniel Wynn. Daniel, love you. <laughs> Brian and Karen held mouth. They, they said that same thing. And yet, Lord, none of us know from day to day what plans you have for us. Little Pierce Andrew Witten. Today's a good day for... Uh, for us. God bless you. They are fully aware that they are no longer in mom and dad's hands. Rick and Diana, if you'll let me have Leah. Leah, can I hold you? Hi, buddy. Ian Benjamin Fallour. And his name means discreet. And I'm going to tell you something. If you looked at me and watched me like this guy's doing right now, we would have one dynamic church right now. This kid has not taken his eyes off me. Let me hold my little granddaughter. How you doing? If I had one person in this church to pick, one, just one, I could only take one with me, and I was going to survive on the land outside. <laughs> just can't go home So I linger for a moment In the dark all alone And I'm so overwhelmed At how your spirit moved I'm just glad That I was in the room Tonight in these pews And I don't understand How you do what you do I'm just glad That I was in the room Great God in heaven How wonderful still changing lives and it humbles my heart that you would allow 
someone like me to play a small part. So tonight, as I stand here, I'm reminded once more that when any good happens, it's not about me, Lord. It's enough that I stand in the shadow of you. Cause I'm just glad I was in. Ken, you are a mighty preacher of the Word of God. You are an anointed leader. You are a godly man. And Jenny, you've been right there with him, and you're a part of the team. God's been good to this family. We've seen people saved. We've seen people baptized. We've, been seen, we've seen people being married right here at this altar of God. If these walls could speak, they would say to us that from generation to generation, God has and is faithful to his people. In October of 1989, you and I met for the very first time. And we became pastor and people. And we continued walking that road to glory together and walking that road of faith. And indeed, it has been just that. 